here is one of my favorite parts of the show, um, talking to my colleagues and, and then spending time on and things that we're doing together, and I, we go to the same events, and we're with uh, George Natras, also known as Motormind, right? Absolutely. Good to see you, Javier Moto, also <laughs> known as the hardest working man in the business. Well, uh, obviously, you have already uh, identified that we belong to the Mutual Admiration Society in <laughs> the automotive <laughs> industry. I thought I worked hard. This guy, you're out in the middle of the field trying to get video of cars racing, man. You're sweating out there. It's well, I mean, it's fun. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, you, one, one of your lines is that you're like a regular guy with like, exceptional experiences. And that's what we do. car guy, extraordinary adventures. And we do that. Yeah, you and, and, and it's amazing. I really, I really appreciate it. I'm, I'm sure you do too because I see you also. And uh, so, the, tell us a little bit about what you do. So basically, what we do is we take an ordinary car guy, that's me, and we put him in extraordinary situations. Things like going to learn how to pilot the Goodyear blimp. Things like competing in Target oh, Newfoundland. I, I've re- I, I, I've gone on the blimp, but I've never. Oh, yeah. they, they never let me there's, close to the controls. There, there's <laughs> no yoke. It's got a wheel. I know. Yeah. Know. And then it's so basically to do those things. That, and you and I are both car guys. Yeah. I'm sure your audience, are car guys. These are all things that car guys would always want to do but wouldn't have a chance. So the show goes to those places that would be on your bucket list or your wish list. That's amazing. How big is your bucket list? I don't think it's that big anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got. I, I want to do Target New, New Zealand. New Zealand yeah. Target has. That's on my bucket list. I want to do. Um, what's the one down Bathurst down yeah. in Australia? I want to do that. Well, I still about, what about that one like some, uh, so that the, the one in um, one of the first you mentioned is like Target Newfoundland. Yeah, that's it's, a, a nice, right? It, it, it's it's up in Canada, and you it's fourteen hundred kilometers of rally racing. Yeah. So you literally they have stages where you go balls out. 100, 120 miles an hour, and they have stages where you're racing through people's neighborhoods. Right. Like literally, and I and I, I was on Team SRT, yeah. so I had a 500 horsepower Challenger screaming through a subdivision. People would put their kids out in the front lawn, and I'm going past them 60 <laughs> miles an hour <laughs> legally. Well, they got it. Talk about extraordinary adventures. Exactly. <laughs> so, and then where can uh, our audience can and find all your stuff? Well, we're in a number of places. We're on most on-demand cable systems here in the U.S. And then in the U.S. and internationally, you can download us on Apple iTunes. Uh, we're on YouTube. Uh, we're at motoman.tv. So basically, if you type into Google or YouTube, motoman. TV, M O T O. M O T O space? No, it's just M O T O M A N TV, all right. one okay. word in YouTube okay. or motoman.tv. That's our website. We're in a lot of basically, we're everywhere, man. Hey, that, that's super cool. But you physically are somewhere in California and moving to a very exciting place yeah. uh, pretty soon. Huh? Are, are, you, uh, are you a fan of the Jeffersons? Absolutely. You remember, they remember the old theme song, Move On Up? Yeah, 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 yeah. To the east side, uh, well, I'm moving on up to the east side. Oh, that's great. We've, uh, right, we've, we've had a great partnership with the Automobile Drive. Museum for the past three years has been our home, and uh, we're we're actually moving the show to the Peterson Museum now. That's where we're going to be based. Big, that's a big, big step. Huh? Yeah, we're very excited, and there's a main reason. It's a big reason for that step. You know, we've been doing the show now. We're in season four, 192 episodes live now, wow. and uh, now. Well, I was going to say about six months ago, we started doing these live event series. Have you ever seen Inside the Actor's Studio with yeah. Jake Clifton? Well, I do this series called Inside the Moto Man Studio. So basically, you sub the actors for key car guys shaped in the car industry and sub Jane Clifton for me. I actually have hair. Um, <laughs> and we go through and learn from guys shaping the industry what motivates them. So we've already had guys like Derek Jenkins, design director of Mazda, Jim Wangers, the guy who was the godfather of the GTO, mm-hmm. and then started. Starting next month, now at the Pearson, we're going to do it every month. Our first guest, Ralph Gilles Chrysler, who was also my team captain. uh, He was my team captain at Target Newfoundland. Uh, Then we have Don Butler from Cadillac coming in. We've got Al Oppenheiser, who's the chief engineer of the Camaro. And then we've got Bob Lutz coming in October. Wow, pretty nice lineup there. It's like, well, yeah. And and it's also a very interesting time for uh, talking about cars because uh, internet, Facebook, YouTube uh, has allowed people to get into much deeper levels of information that only like five, three, three, five, ten years ago. So people can get into those things and learn much more than that. Oh and, my God, uh, yes. And, and with your, like, your kind of shows, and is, is there a way that people can like maybe send you questions or like Oh, absolutely. Or There's a couple like of ways. Well, obviously via Facebook and Twitter and and uh, what's it, Instagram. We're at Moto Man TV, all one word. We're on, we're on all of those. Uh, but also for the, like these events we're doing, these live event series. So we start out, it's about an hour-long program, but there's Q&A for an 
hour. And starting in July, we're going to live stream these. Wow. So you'll be able to watch it live stream. And then if, if you follow us on Moto Man TV on Facebook or Moto Man TV on Twitter, you can ask questions of the guests. So you can actually come live, ask questions of a guy like Bob Lutz or Ralph, Ralph Giel, or... If you're you're following online, watching it live, you can ask questions via Facebook and Twitter. Yeah, that's a pretty interesting lineup, as, as I said before. I interviewed Bob Lass, uh, when um, they were with the nano thing that you remember that the oh, yeah. Tata nano thing. Yeah. thing was, that's coming up like the two thousand two twenty five hundred dollar car from India, and I asked him like. So are we gonna ever have this car? He said, we already have it. It's the Aveo, but it costs <laughs> <It's the Aveo. laughs> That's a lot of rupees. <laughs> exactly. Well, uh, so um, briefly, because we're running out of time here, um, tell me one of the extraordinary experiences that you have uh, done uh, recently. Recently? Uh, we, there's been two I'm gonna tell you about. The first one was Derek Jenkins and I, as the design director of Mazda, and a good friend, we built four SEMA show, show cars together. I was oh, really? behind the scenes at his place at Mazda Design and Irvine. And they're going to be show up and well, the SEMA in a... Uh, no, no, we did it for this past season. Oh, the past one. So we literally ripped these cars apart for, for literally two months. I painted them. I mean, I was wow. in there painting, ripping a car apart. So three you, calipers. you don't always look as good as now. Well, I was wearing my jacket when I did it. I always wear my jacket and my pocket score. You know that about me. And then the other really cool experience I did recently was I got to drive a military prototype vehicle, a $20 million prototype vehicle. Wow. It's not exactly what the next Humvee is going to be, but it's a test bed of what the next Humvee is going to be. Oh, that's amazing. And speaking about that, the Homer came out of the Homer, right? Like, yep. You think that car will ever come back? The Homer? I like that car. You I know what? I think it has very bad timing. Here's how it'll come back. You know okay. those icon iconic motors, the guys that are rebuilding those old FDO Land Cruisers yeah. for like 80 grand? Yeah. I think in 20 years, the iconic will be built. And maybe we'll go and drive it in Canada in that track. <laughs> okay. You'll okay. be my co-driver. Excellent. So, George, before we go, uh, when does this series of interviews start and uh, where people can find more information about it, please? The first one at the Peterson starts on July 26th. It starts with a cruise in at 5 p.m. So we got them all Mopar cruising from 5 to 7 p.m. And then the program with Ralph Shield starts at 7 p.m. People can find out more details at peterson.org, basically the website for the Peterson Automotive Museum, peterson.org. Excellent. And through there, there's going to be the whole schedule for all the other interviews. Yeah, we'll have, we'll, you'll be able to see registration information. The events are free. It's just admission to the museum. So the events themselves are completely free. But for people who are not in California, uh, they can uh, eventually they're going to be able to see them. Oh, actually, starting next month with Ralph, we're going to live stream these. Okay. So you'll be able to live stream it, and if you follow us at Moto Man TV on Facebook or Moto Man TV on Twitter, you'll be able to ask questions of the guests during the Q&A section. Excellent. I'm, I'm, I'm sure to tune in, and uh, maybe I'll send out a few questions over there. <laughs> Absolutely. The <laughs> hardest you. working man in the business here. Thank you very much. Yeah. Bye. Bueno, esa fue la entrevista que tuvimos con Jordan Notaras eh, de motoman.tv. Eh, sobre, bueno, todas las aventuras que, que él hace, lo pueden seguir ahí ya pues, lo pueden ver en sus páginas de internet y bueno, su mudanza que va a tener al, al Peterson Museum allá en California y un colega muy muy simpático realmente eh, nos admiramos mutuamente porque él hace un gran trabajo y creo que él también aprecia lo que hago yo cuando nos encontramos en estos viajes, esta fue una entrevista que realizamos durante la visita de la semana pasada allá a los Proving Grounds de Ford Motor Company en Dearborn, Michigan y muy interesante, así que bueno eh, toda la información de este show está colocada en nuestra página de Facebook facebook.com slash auto 060, también pueden seguir los videos en el canal de YouTube YouTube Javier Mota, me pueden buscar ahí también en Twitter, arroba Javier Mota y bueno, los esperamos en la próxima edición de Auto 060 aquí en Cristina Radio Network, donde vamos a tener Muchas más eh, pruebas de manejo, test drive, lo que está pasando con las noticias de la industria, la NASCAR, el automovilismo y todo lo que nos interesa a los que estamos viajando acá eh, por las calles y carreteras de Estados Unidos. Eh, en el próximo show les prometo a ver si damos un poco el resumen sobre las ventas de autos nuevos en Estados Unidos que están espectaculares. Estamos, vamos a romper un nuevo récord acá en auto, eh, ventas de autos nuevos en el 2000. Esto es Auto 060, yo soy Javier Mota y los espero en la próxima edición aquí en Cristina Radio Network.